So, top rank decides that they want to start disrespecting Javante Tank Davis's team and his training. It's just not going to be good for Vasily Lomachenko, bro. I suggest y'all just get the fight done, be respectful, and fucking hope that Loma can put up a good fight, bro. Because <laughs> the more the more shit y'all talk or the more y'all try to talk down with this little... What's the word, bro? When you can just feel somebody... Th that condescending shit. There you go. I had to think about it. This condescending shit... It's not going to go well, bro. I'm just letting y'all know off rip. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I ask that you please, bro, if you want to debate, knock out boxing 86 at yahoo.com, email, or you can come by the channel. I'll be live tonight at 7.30, and we can get it cracking, bro. But let's talk about this shit, man. So... First of all, somebody came in my comments and said, oh, you click blading talking about the tank and Loma fight is done. Well, they just let you know that Loma flying to fucking America from the Ukraine to quote unquote, talk about the fight. And in the midst of that, they disrespected Kenny Ellis. But I, I, I'll, get to, I'll get to that shit in a minute. But Bob Aaron confirmed that Loma Chinko is flying to America to talk about the, the Tank Davis fight. The fight done, y'all. It's 2024. If he was just flying to talk and not flying to sign the contract or not flying to start camp or start pre-camp and he was just flying to talk, how does that make any sense? They got, they can just talk on the phone. You can make international calls on the phone. They can get on the app like Skype, WhatsApp, Microsoft Teams, WebEx, Zoom. And they can just do a video call, bro. <laughs> He's not flying here to talk, is what I'm saying, bro. Use your brain, bro. <laughs> Man, that don't mean the fight is done, bro. They just said Loma coming to talk about the fight. They've been talking about the fight since before Tank was fighting Frank. They've been in negotiations. They call them here alone. Negotiations done. We got this shit done. Come sign this shit. But they can't tell you that. Oh, he just flying in. We're going to fly alone, man. I, I talked to Aegis at his home in California. So Bob, 90-something-year-old Bob, took a plane or, or whatever. An hour flight, got on a plane from Vegas where he lived to California where Aegis cleaned his lived. To just talk about the tank and motherfucking uh, Loma fight. Shit done, bro. And Loma's flying from across the fucking world to just talk about the tank fight. The fight's fucking done, bro. Keep on, keep, keep on, oh my god, you don't know, you can't be clickbaiting, nah, guy. You don't have any sources, you don't know shit. I only told you who you were fighting when you were fighting Hector Garcia. I only told you who you were fighting when you were fighting Ryan Garcia. I only told you who you were fighting when you were fighting Frank Martin. And I've been telling y'all, the man is fighting for Silly Lomachenko. But go ahead and wait for Mike Coppinger or fucking one of these bigger channels that's bigger than me. Or fucking um, Dan Raphael or, or, or fucking... Um, shit, I don't know. What's another one? One of these dudes. Wait on one of them to tell you before you believe this shit. I don't give a damn. I'm going to just give you the information anyway. But then, so that's good news. Bad news for Loma is his team is getting real spicy, talking crazy. So, Kenny Ellis tweeted out, yo, Loma said he was going to step aside or whatever and let Tank and, and Shakur fight. Then he went on to say he was just playing. He was just trolling on the Rise podcast, bro. And he already told me in the serious interview that we did over on KQKC that he don't control who Tank fight. That at the end of the day, Tank Davis picks who he fights. He is in control of who he fights now. He got control of his career. So anybody he fight, it's going to be his say. So you either give him credit for it or you give him criticism for it. So Kenny Ellis speaking on it. He, he, ain't, he just, he admitted, number one, that he don't have that type of pull to tell you who he is and who he not fighting. He ain't in the, involved in the negotiations and the business shit going on with the fight. Number two, he admitted that he was just trolling, motherfucker. 
So he let you know he was just playing. Right? And then Bob, everyone, he say, let's not jump guns. These guys make shit up. So he letting it be known. Loma want the fucking fight. And I ain't got no problem with him saying that. I ain't got no problem with him saying these guys just make shit up. Because that ain't disrespectful. Like, yo, he made it. Can he ever say he made the shit up? Like, yeah, I was just playing. So, yes, that is the truth. I ain't got no problem with Bob Aaron. But, oh, Carl Moretti. <laughs> Carl Moretti. Talking about that. She said, so, some bucket carrier is saying Loma doesn't want the fight now. Make it make sense. Bucket carrier. Call me ready, bro. You ain't got to get in that ring. And I think you should probably be a little bit more educated on who your fighter is fighting and the members of their team and the roles that they play in your fighter's opponent's camp. To call Kenny Ellis a bucket carrier, number one, is mad disrespectful. Anybody know that when you say that somebody carrying the spit bucket, you mean that as a sign of disrespect in boxing. Like, you don't do shit, you just carry the spit bucket. That's what we say about Bernie the Boxer in regards to Terrence Crawford on this channel. I mean it in a disrespectful way. <laughs> Anybody that say that shit, you mean it to be disrespectful. Like, shut the fuck up, you don't know what you're talking about. You carry the spit bucket, bro. You ain't you you ain't got no power in that camp. Kenny Ellis is the furthest thing from a goddamn bucket carrier, bro. And Tank Davis don't take kindly to shit like that, bro. He's going to remember that shit. Might bring it up in the press conference. Might tell Loma you gonna pay for what your team said about him. Might tell him that shit in the press conference. But just in case Carl Moretti may get a hold of this video or you watching this video don't know who Kenny Ellis is, bro, he's the brains of that whole, that whole shit they got going over there. He's one of, now Tank obviously got natural abilities and natural IQ and he's just a natural born fighter. But Kenny Ellis has helped hone that ring IQ. That ring IQ shit, that brain for the sport, that seeing shit, paying attention to everything, Tank Davis does that shit anyway because his upbringing. But as far as in the boxing ring, that's Kenny Ellis, bro. He do their whole strategy and shit. He the one that studied the film of the opponents, bro. He the one that come up with the combinations that they think they gonna work on that's gonna work on the fight. I see this weakness. I see that weakness. This is what we gonna work on. Go watch him drilling Tank on a right hook, left uppercut combination for Frank the Ghost Martin. And then go see what Tank Davis knock Frank the Ghost Martin out with and then come back to this video and still call Kenny Ellis a uh, bucket carrier, a spit bucket holder, whatever the fuck you want to call him. Go do that. Go 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 watch them before the fight. Him drilling Tank Davis, right up right hook, and then this is where I want you to throw the uppercut. Watch him watch him doing that, right? Then go watch what Frank Martin knocked him the fuck out with, right? Then I want you to go over to the corner before the knockout, right? Go over to the corner before the knockout. And watch Kenny Ellis say, start throwing your combinations. Start letting, it's time for you to start throwing your combinations. Start throwing. And then watch Tank go follow those instructions and begin to beat Frank Martin up from rounds five through eight. And it started in kind of round four. And then listen to Tank Davis after the fucking interview. Yeah, my coach told me to start letting my hands go. Start throwing me, throwing combinations. You know, the coach he was referring to wasn't Calvin Ford, right? Carl Moretti? You do know that, right? The coach that he was referring like the coach that said throw your combinations was the, was the bald-headed dude with the gray beard that came around from the side. Calvin's in front of Tank, came around from the side and told him, start throwing your combination, start letting your hands go. Sound like no spit bucket carrier to me. Sound like a motherfucker that got Tank ear. Sound, sound like somebody Tank listened to, somebody that he give credit to. Might want to tone down the, the um, might want to tone down the, the disrespect, bro, because... 
Your fighter gonna have to pay for that shit. Your fighter is the one that's gonna stand for, for the shit you're saying, bro. Just a thought, man. And the main thing, though, is that stop acting like I don't do this shit, bro. Bob Arum is telling you the same shit I've been telling you, bro. This shit is done. Premier Boxing Champions got this new deal with Amazon. Amazon only want to put the best on their platform, bro. And Tank Davis is going to be fighting dogs for the rest of his prime. At 135, 140, and he might end at 147. But I expect him to go on this run, this late 20s, early 30 run, from about right now till he about 32 years old. He going to try to run through 135. And then... 32 to about 35, 36, that's when he going to be fucking up 140. Going for the best over there, bro. You about to see this shit about to be a movie. Watch what I tell you. And they letting you know that Lomachenko is next, bro. You don't fly a man from Ukraine to California to talk about something. You fly him across to sign some shit y'all done already talked about. It's 2024. Y'all let him fool y'all like all these technologies and shit don't exist. For them to talk if Loma just wanted to quote unquote talk about the fight. Y'all let them fool y'all. I'm gonna keep standing on what I've been standing on. This fight done. Bob Aaron let the cat out the bag when he said negotiations were going well and they fully anticipate to resume negotiations. Then they said negotiations resumed. All they waiting on is a goddamn announcement. They just keeping hush about it, but that's cool. That's cool. Don't believe old knockout. I'll just be proven right again. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.